Hey, welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday. We haven't done one of these in a long, long time. I'm sure you're delighted on that fact. So we're back with the Two Minute Tuesday because we've got something to sing about. And this is one of those awesome products that every now and again comes along and you go, this is the one for me, baby. So let's get this intro done. Enough of that. So let's put two minutes on the clock. So what have I got for you today? Well, this is a product that's been in development for a number of years. Look, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel there. We've had a dabble of this years ago. There are other companies that have brought out something similar, but what we have done is we've perfected it. This is gonna be an absolute game changer. And I know we all use the words game changer in everything we do, and you know, it's a bit of a cliche. It's a bit overdone as well. But sometimes things actually deserve that title. And I personally believe that this is one of them. So what have we got here? Well, these little balls that are in front of you here, these are our new soluble range. Now we've, as I said, dabbled with this in the past. It wasn't really fantastic. It didn't really hit the mark and it kind of went off into the ether as a lot of products do when they don't really kind of deliver on what they're promising. But this one's a little bit different. It's been in development, as I said, for a number of years and I've been field testing it for a solid two years now and I can honestly say they make a huge difference. It's how you apply them and where you'd apply them. So let's go over the basic concept of it. The soluble range is a product that is for freebies that you add to your main feed that you're putting out. They mimic a boilie but what happens is they break down to mush over an extended period. Now in sort of warm water conditions these will break down within four hours. In cold water conditions it could be up to eight or nine hours. What they are are our base mix. They have a few tweaks made and also they have the same package of liquids that are main boilies. So these in, in essence are a food that carp will get really excited about. They'll start grabbing down on them and they really tear up the water looking for these. Once they get on them and I've seen this firsthand when the carp really get on these on this particular water I'm on there's uh, an area where you can feed bait into it. It's a sanctuary area snags and the fish will root along and pick up bits and pieces feeling quite safe in there because they know they can't be angled for. Throw in some boilies, they're quite indifferent to them. Throw these solubles in and in 10 minutes they are absolutely tearing up the whole bottom trying to get every last morsel up. As I said the concept is that you would use these as your feed along with some whole and chopped normal boilies whether they're shelf life or frozen. These will start to break down over a period of time and you can trickle them in. Now this particular one is a big fish mix with salmon, caviar and black pepper. The liquid package is identical to that you would find in a main boilie so what they do is they break down they fluff out and they start to break down and they go into that ball of mush what happens is when the carp go in because it looks like a, a mushy boilie on the bottom nothing comes up and they have to really grub around and root around to get all the morsels up and that's exactly what they do they get really really turned on and stimulated with these and they'll grub around for hours how you store these is because you can't freeze them so what I would recommend is keep them in, a, in, in an air sealed plastic bag and into a dark bucket and leave them there and only take out what you need. They're dehydrated to such a point that they're a shelf life, even though there are zero preservatives in this. And the wonderful thing about these is the longer you air dry them out, the harder they will get. These particular ones are fresh out of the factory. In this bag here, this is my rat proof air dry bag. I've got code solubles in this and I've had these for over probably 12, 13 months. What I've done with these is I've kept them in this air dry bag rather than keep them in a sealed airtight bag and into a dark bucket locked down tight. These have continued to air dry because I've kept them in a warm area that they can keep dehydrating and dehydrating. If you want to do that you can and they won't go off. What will happen though is they'll dehydrate to such a point that their breakdown time could be nearly doubled which is great if you want to fish in waters in warm water where you want to have a little bit more bait around your hook bait over an extended period. They'll break down and they'll go the same way as the standard ones do but the longevity of them is better. Now if you don't have that luxury of air drying bait out or you, you're very heavy handed and you don't get to keep bait around that long, there are other tweaks you can do on these. So if you want to break down these faster than their time allotted, what you can do is you can give them a quick misting before you leave in the morning of a little bit of water, or you can use something like Neutramino, Minamino, any of the liquid foods, give them a quick dowsing, and that will start the process. By the time you get to the lake, they'll have started to begin to absorb that liquid and start the reaction going. If you want to slow them down, because it's very warm water again, all you have to do is use a little bit of 
hemp oil or a bit of salmon oil. Depending on what bait you're using, you can kind of go salmon oil with the BFM and the salmon. You can go a bit nutty with a code and go for a hemp. Uh, using the oil will, will slow these down considerably. And again, you, you extend the period of breakdown over a couple of hours. Where solubles have really come from is the European competitive anglers have been using them for amazing success for a good number of years. And in fact, most competitions are won via the solubles. We have uh, a great team member called Graham Maybe, and he is part of the England cart team and he's in the management side of things. And he's been on at Richard at Nutribates to start producing this range of solubles because he knows or knew from a while back that we just couldn't have a competitive edge unless we weren't, as an English team, on the continent fishing with a soluble boilie. For me, the solubles are going to have one of the biggest edges in winter when you don't really want to feed fish but you want maximum attraction. This is a great way to bring carp in to have a little mooch around you've got very short windows uh, feeding times and you can kind of sort of do a little and often you can trickle these in over a period of time you're not given too much food but you're given maximum attraction and the carp are going to find it easier to find your hook bait especially if it's the only hook bait in the middle of all of this you can use these in pva bags funnel wear bait boat stick them out you can catapult them out the great thing about them if you are using a throwing stick they don't split they will go flying out a long long way and accuracy is everything with these they're not Nice and dense but they're rock solid so they're just going to whiz out. Uh, recently for the last 18 months or so I've been using the solubles and finding them a great edge. Depends how you use them like everything else but uh, I found that they've been an additional uh, tool in our armory. The fish definitely seem to uh, come onto them very quickly and uh, seem to compete over the, over the, the soluble remains and uh, they find it very attractive and uh, it certainly goes through them very quickly and they uh, keep eating it and come back hopefully for your bit. As you know at this stage I've well gone over to two minutes. I, I Sorry, <laughs> I can't say any more than that. But you know at the end of the day this is one of those top end products that has to be shouted about. This is going to catch an awful lot of fish over the next while. The team members who have been on this field testing this for the last couple of years have been absolutely blown away how many things you can do with them and how much more it entices the fish into the swim and gets things going when they're feeding. So I've been using the uh, Nutribate Solubulbs for about 18 months to two years. Had some good success on them, notably Romania. One of the biggest things we noticed when fishing in Romania, playing a fish from the boat and on the deep margins, the bait was going through them. So it was basically coming out of them while we were playing them before we even hit the bank, which at the time of year, November, meant that the fish were eating a lot more. So it meant we caught a lot more fish. Bailiffs were blown away by the amount of fish we were catching at the time. Um, obviously they didn't know that it was a soluble bait. So the carp were having it and we did a lot. The BFM did a, an amazing job. And once again, the code certainly picked out the bigger fish um, in the solubles. Slower on the code, but uh, definitely the, the larger fish. Fantastic stuff. Uh, we've used it in our local waters to good success. I know Swan Hole, one of our local lakes, has been doing extremely well on it. Simon and a couple of the other lads that have had a bit off me have done really well on it and they are itching to get hold of it again. So they can't wait for it to come out. It's like everything else though, if they're not in your spot, you can't catch them. And it doesn't matter how many solubles you have out there, it won't bring them in unless they're in the swim. But if you find carp and you're able to deliver the bait out to them, these will be a definite edge to putting more fish on the bank.